Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Shoot Guy, and this is the number three review, the third review of the Macla playlist. And we will be taking a look at this. This is Silverback Dark, all right, and it is in a 20 gram tin. The intensity level is up and the container is smaller. It actually seems significantly smaller than the previous two. There's only actually a five gram difference. The first two of this line were 25 grams and this one is 20. But to look at all that and the packaging up close, we will go to the desk. And here we are. So, as you can see, it has the warning around the outer with the brand, what it is, and the flavor in the middle. Notice down here, when the first two I did, there was only one of these three dashes filled in. This one, there are two filled in, so this is actually going to be stronger than the others. That is a sticker you are looking at on top of a plastic lid. The overhang on the lid almost brings it down to the halfway mark. However, this bottom half does raise up to about there, I believe. I think it's about there. It might go all the way up to this ribbing. So in this case, I would call the top a lid and the bottom is the can. On the back, you have another warning label going around the outer rim, sort of in the Canadian dip style. You have the website up top as I fumble to pick up this ridiculously small snuff spoon. You have the website up here. It is silverbackdip.com. You have the fact that it's moist snuff. This is the most glaring Okay, so silverbackdip.com, that is a website that they have made for the American market. This is not dip. This is MACLA. Make no mistake, this is not dip. However, right underneath that, moist snuff is technically, in my mind, not a lie, not misleading. It is moist snuff. It just happens not to be dip. All right, and then... It shows who it's made by. It is coming out of Belgium. You have the barcode and the California warning label because those of you in California are special. And considering I'm saying it, it would seem that we are all now special in California's eyes. And that, my friends, is what you term utopia. On the side, underage sales prohibited, net weight is 0.71 ounces, which is 20 grams. As I said, this tin is 20 grams and not 25 like the previous two reviews. Then you have sale only allowed, which is sort of funny how they did that because this is the pull tab in the United States. And again, underage sales prohibited. There is a, and I did not point this out before, there is some sort of code I do not know what it means. I do not think it will really matter as far as the purposes of this review goes. Now, at the top, sort of like some snuff containers, especially some coins, they have ribbed up top and ribbed down bottom. It is just to give you some grip. So let's open this up and see how absolutely scary the product is. I'd like to, by the 5 minute and 30 second mark, get to the point where I'm quest questioning all of my life choices. Because why? Anyway, so opening it up. And there you go. In all its micro hockey puck glory. And when I say micro, let me, let me just recap that for a second before the smell gets to me. There you go. Just to show you what you're dealing here with, standard size dip can, this. All right. But unlike the previous two, this is even thinner. Okay. Now we'll open it back up. And 
and it's just a pop lid. They have very slight bump there rib that snaps it down into place. As you can see, I don't want to tip it too far here, but that lid is fitting over basically a can that goes all the way up to the top of the lid. In the lid, there is moisture, but not in the normal, it's almost like, it's almost like it's congealed, if that makes any sense to anybody. It's almost like there's syrup splattered on the inside of the lid. I am oddly not smelling this stuff yet, so. Oh, I am now. <laughs> oh, okay, so I took to the six minute mark, but now I am questioning all of my life's choices and anything that may have possibly brought me to this point in time that I did not have control over. Okay, so uh, there is a ridiculously dark, it is dark, so the dark part is not lying on the lid. It does say dark, and it is dark, a darker version of Barnyard. The stuff is clumped in there. You are not seeing that wrong, okay? There, th There's a good relief there of what was coming in contact with the lid. That said, touching it, it's tacky, but nothing comes off on the finger. And I can probably press in there and leave a fingerprint. And in that case, if you do that, moisture does come off on the fingertip. But you'll also notice that fingerprint does not bounce back. If that gives you any idea of the product's feel or what constitutes it, that, that fingerprint is, will be there. If I wasn't about to rough this up with a snuff spoon, that would be there next week if I closed the can up and forgot about it for a little while. And I have a feeling that in a few minutes, I'm going to want to forget about this, but here we go anyway. So I'm clump. It, it's sort of like semi-dried dirt, for lack of a better term. It's low moisture content mud. How about that? And this is going to be even stronger than the last two. Now, on the second one, the green, I actually did not feel that as much, not nearly as much. The classic was a little bit crazy. So I'm going to be doing a small, small pinch of this in my lower lip because they're calling it dip. All right. Now, when I say small dip, pinch, I'm talking like that. All right. I'm talking like a Copenhagen 1970 newspaper ad pinch. Oh, my God, that is burning already. Good grief. Holy God. It just feels weird being that small in my lip, though. So, of course, I'm going to put more in just to cement my position at the top of the jackass food chain. And with that, we will be going back up top. Wow, this is freaking insane. Good grief. Okay, back in a moment. And we are back. Yeah, so this stuff, I, the, the nicotine on this is even higher. Um, the barnyard smell is very, I find, unpleasant. It's not something I want to smell. Um, I don't think that's something that, let's say, you were desensitized to it and worked in a barnyard that you'd want to go out of your way to smell when you're off time. Like, you know what I mean? Um, Flavor-wise, it doesn't come across like that. Flavor-wise, and I am spitting, so... It 
it's sort of nondescript. Uh, there, there's nothing bad about it, and there's nothing great about it. Not that I was expecting anything great about it. There's a lot of mouthfeel. Now, I am holding this right up here. It flattens out along the gum line, all right? So if you were using like this like snooze and you were using a pearls maker, that would probably be in your favor. However, my cheap one is too big for this. I could never put that much of this stuff in my mouth due to the nicotine levels. So my whole bottom gum was burning and now feels like it's going a cooling numbness, let me put it that way. The stuff spits green, and it doesn't like staying in one place. So that may be another selling point for putting it in your upper lip. However, I cannot imagine what this would feel like to me in my upper lip because I don't do upper lip ever, really. I did it for those Snoopy reviews. Um, basically so as to not insult Snoopy, but like the burn on this would be absolutely, I, I, I don't even want to know. Let me put it that way. So look, these products, they've made a U.S. website and they got dip written all over it and they have to do it not for the U.S. market have that website it's because they can't start putting dip all over the European website. It's being mailed out of England, uh, technically the Isle of Men. I believe Mr. Snuff is taking care of most of the orders. They're trying to take a segment of the U.S. dip market. I don't think it's going to work. Now, if you are a fan of high nicotine and one that likes to try everything, then, yeah. I mean, if you can get them reasonably priced under $5 or, you know, somewhere close under, okay. But be warned to those that are sensitive to nicotine. Like, if you're, if you're usually stuck with, like, skull cherry because you get nauseous, do not, do not go here, all right? Um... Man, this one's really moving around. So you have a horrible smell, nondescript taste, a lot of mouthfeel, noticeably high nicotine. And I don't see how this wouldn't cause you your mouth to water even if it was upstairs because there's so much mouthfeel to it. If you got used to it, maybe, but I, uh, you know, I'm not planning on getting used to it. So it doesn't really, we don't need to go there. Um, you may want to try it. If you can handle the nicotine, you may want to try it. I have a feeling that them taking a section of the U S dip market is not going to work. Okay. Uh, and they will sort of recede back after realizing how pointless an adventure that was not that i'm wishing you know them lack of success nothing like that at all i just don't see this becoming a thing and that's all i really think about this this has been my review of silverback dark the medium intensity it has been the third review of the MACLA playlist. I am the Suntai Dip and Chew Guy. I do thank you for watching. I do hope that all of you are well. Do take care of yourselves, and God bless.